Oh, gee, common traits in a leader, that uh, goes back to, you know, many decades ago, there was a leadership, th you know, kind of theory uh, called traits, and if that you had all of these traits, you would be an effective leader. And I'll just give you a quick story. I remember when I was at Harvard, uh, I subscribed to this leadership class, and it was very uh, oversubscribed, so you had to write a paper to, to get into this class. Mm -hmm. And so I had to write this 10-page paper. I was, I was very uh, anxious to see if it would uh, be accepted and I could get into this class uh, because everybody really wanted to take it. This professor was kind of like on the leading edge of, of leadership development in, 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 the, in the late 80s. So he started off the first seminar. I was lucky to get in and he asked the question, uh, what do you expect from a leader? And kind of along the lines of, uh, you know, what are the traits of, of good leaders? So everybody started raising their hand and he started copying down on the blackboard all of these various traits like you had to have character, you had to have integrity, you have to have honesty, you had to be a trustworthy person, you had to be committed, you had to be an effective communicator. So he, he must have uh, written down about 30 or 40 of these traits and then he looked at the list and he said no leader can meet all of these expectations, I'm out of here, class dismissed. And it was supposed to be a three hour seminar and it, 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 I said, oh my God, I put all of this effort to try to get into this class. And I said, you know, we just got screwed. And I mean, I'm glad the Army's paying for this thing because if I was paying for myself, I'd be upset. But he made a valuable uh, point, and that is that uh, when you're going to lead, regardless of what kind of traits that you may have and how, how, how great they are, you're always going to be failing somebody's expectations. So as, uh, as a leader, you just have to be confident in yourself and know that not everybody is going to buy into you as a leader or where you're trying to take an organization or, or a team. Uh, and that's why when you look at the root uh, uh, meaning, I guess, in Latin of leadership, it's leith, L-E-I-T-H. And the translation of that means to go forth and die. So leadership's a risky business. and. You know, you do have to have those traits that I mentioned, and to me the most important ones, it starts with character. Uh, you have to have the inner moral compass to guide you, especially when you hit adversity, which you will, and times get tough. You have to have integrity, and so you have to have a reputation of being able to, whatever you say, do. Keep your promises and commitment. You've got to be a trustworthy person, because without trust, uh, it's pretty hard to influence people. So that's very important to me. You should be very open. You should be uh, a person who is willing to listen to other people's point of view so that in a collaborative fashion, you can arrive at the best decision for whatever it's your little team or group or company. And so openness is, is a very uh, critical leader trait, I think. And you have to be authentic. You've got to be yourself. You, you, you can't pretend to be somebody and not because people will see right through that. And so if you're authentic and in, in need with uh, authenticity, then I think people will, will respect you for that. You don't have to be perfect, no leader is, and there's no one best way to lead. So uh, I would think those are probably about the five or six most important traits uh, for me. Okay.